Oh, this is dramatic. We really had to do it this way. The night's about to be ruined. You might as well enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, now I feel bad for him. Oh, no. Oh, good job, girl. Good job. Oh, good job. He's going to get killed. The monster's going to hurt him. Oh, honey, you're in a call. Honey, never told her why. Ajax, what the f I don't trust anyone. a funeral? Is this for the mayor? Oh, Lucas. Oh, I feel bad for his family. That really sucks. That's sad. Poor Lucas. Who's behind her? Oh, a sus person. She's chasing after a potential murderer. She's crazy. Jesus Christ it scared me. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. Oh, it's her, oh, it's Uncle Fe. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Wow, we're meeting another family member. That's exciting. I told him I had a job in Boston, but I'd be checking up on you. What kind of job? The kind that means I need someone to lay low for a couple days. Oh, like he's gonna lay low on campus? Are we gonna lay low here? That's actually probably smart. Although this is probably an infraction Wednesday. You're just asking to get expelled. I like a hideout that comes with snacks. Those bees are hibernating. Oh. Do not touch them. That means do not eat them. I love how he's like, snacks, but he doesn't go for the honey, he goes for the bees. <laughs> it's called a hide. A hide, like a Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, that's cool. So do they, ha they have a human form. Faulkner describes hides as artists by nature, but equally vindictive. Artists, oh, it's not looking good for Xavier. She's gonna be more suspicious of him. This app causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees it's its master. Anyone willing to unlock a hide is a next level sicko. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two. Laurel, Laurel, the th it could be the therapist. She could unlock it with hypnosis. And then it could be Xavier and he just doesn't realize. Oh my God. He might just not know that he's the monster. It could be anyone who sees the therapist. I feel like the therapist is involved. I need to talk to you. No, like, like right now. I just feel like it's too obvious for him to be the monster, but he is artistic. Oh, he's taking a bike ride. Okay, let's hit the road. Oh, hell yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I love it, I love it. This is so cute. Oh my God, these little helmets, I love them. The therapist! I had a dream where you died. Man, it's too obvious for that to be. Uh, damn it, it can't be them now. It can't be them. I've been reading about hypnotherapy. I think it might be a good technique to unlock my inner Wednesday. Oh. Are you a devotee? Yes, very much so. Okay, well, she's admitting it. I don't think it's her now. Damn it! That was my theory! The hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement. Don't eat uh. <laughs> Grow up! Ew! I like ketchup too! Ah, ah. <coughs> I like can't stop thinking about it. It's making me want to throw up. That's so gross. I uh, made you a quad on the house. Hey! Even though he's supposed to be staying away from her, he gives her a quad on the house. Wow. Well, apparently a hide needs to be unlocked by someone. It's master. Q entering dad. Uh-oh. What did I say? What did I say? I forbade you to. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> uh, waste my breath. Yeah, you can't control them. They're 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 gonna do what they're gonna do, Sheriff. About rescheduling our date. Aww. Well, between the monster and my uncle. Yeah, no excuses. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. You do owe him. Well, I can't sneak off of campus. You're on. You're off campus right now. I'll come to you. How is this okay? Wait, she's allowed to go to the weather vane during the day, but it's just nighttime? Honestly, I've never seen her in class. Like we've never had, like we've had one episode where we saw them go to one class. <laughs> they don't go to class very often. It's not a date. It's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. Just go on a date. Oh. I can't wait, you know, I want her to be more emotionally vulnerable, but like this is the first season. This It's, you know, it makes sense she'd be resistant. But you do have to close your eyes. Wow. Are you serious? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, he got her a dead flower. That's so cute and thoughtful. I really hope he's not the monster. I'll be sad. 
Oh, a little picnic. <gasps> They're gonna, this movie popcorn in an aesthetic black and white striped popcorn style bucket. How did he find that? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before. He better not be the monster. How do you feel about scary movies? Oh, she's smiling. Ah! Uh. It's a little after 12. Make breakfast for wait. myself. Is this a scary movie? I've seen this. Is this Sleepover or wait? This is the song Vacation. Oh, it's Legally Blonde. Oh, it's to scare her. <laughs> she is it. She's actually scared. Oh no, they're here. All right, he couldn't get too far on foot, so you guys spread out. Is he gonna see them on a date? Oh no. I love that he was like, an, he meant an actual scary movie, like that, that she torture. would hate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like Sheriff's about to crash the kiss. Yep. I'm not gonna even ask what this is, but I never saw the two of you here. Okay, sounds good, Dad. <laughs> what a way to block your own son, man. Um, <laughs> I regret that I said that. Oh, thing, the hand, is he okay? No, oh no. Help, 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 things not moving. He was stabbed. Get him on the table. Oh no. Oh, not thing, he can't die. Oh, he's gonna zap him back to life. He doesn't even have, does he have a heart? Oh my God. Oh, thing can't die. Oh, she's crying. Oh my God, it's the first time. Like she didn't even cry with Eugene, but this time is getting her. Oh my God. No, no. If you die, I will kill you. <laughs> I think that's gonna work. No, again, please. Oh, she's in denial. Poor baby. I'm actually getting so worked up over this because Jenna Ortega is doing such a good job of like, this is the first time we've seen like emotion come out of her really. Oh my God. I'm getting so worked up over this. Oh my God. It's just cause she's doing such a good job. Pinky promise. <laughs> I'm worked up so much over a fake hand. <laughs> she did such a good job with that. Holy Wednesday? We don't have an appointment scheduled for today. Mm. I wanted to return something. Interesting, the music box? Ah! I mean, who better to slide in and out of the hospital undetected than a psychiatrist under the guise of visiting another patient? Mm, it's true, but I, I feel like it's too obvious. It can't be, is it her? Like, I, I, I feel like it's just too obvious. I wasn't aware that Wednesday had a session today. She didn't, and her behavior was completely irrational. Oh no. What's happening? Who's in the bathroom? Dr. Kimba. <laughs> Dr. Kimba, I'm scared for you, girl. <laughs> oh, now she's gonna die. Are you kidding me? It's not her! Man, if I was, I feel like if I was any other character, I'd be so sus of Wednesday. You know what I mean? Your painting's been improving. I enjoy this one in particular. Uh, well, to be fair, he did tell her, he did tell Dr. Kimbani he had a dream about her dying, so. I think he's just having visions like Wednesday, but in his dreams. What is Roan's inhaler doing in your shed? Are Eugene's glasses? Oh, that is a little weird. Are these stalker images you took of me? <laughs> no. Did he not put any of that there? What, he looks genuinely confused. No, 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 somebody planted that stuff! Please! Drop the knife! Get down on your knees! Oh, it's... Oh, it's not him, and now he's in the news. Oh, I feel bad for him. I should have let Rowan kill you. Oh, I feel bad for him. I really don't think it's him at all. But I I understand why she would think that. Enid's back? She unpacking? I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. So she moves back in? She's like, oh, somebody could have gotten murdered. Let me move back in. I do love her. Well, I heard Tyler's working the late shift. God, what if it's Tyler? I just don't want him sad. Because it's not Xavier, there's no way. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Uh, I don't want to get my hopes up because what if it's him? I don't want it to be him. What if she kisses him and has a vision? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. 
I called it. It's him. It's him. It's him. Oh no, it's Tyler. Oh my God, it's him. The sheriff's never gonna believe that. Of course, the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic serial killing monster. Oh, is it starting to snow too? I guess I have a type. Yeah, you do. You have a type. Oh, a little full moon action. What a great ending. I just had a feeling. I was like, there's no way it's Xavier, but then I was the sus of the therapist. I guess it could, I guess the therapist still could have been bringing the hide out in him without realizing it, but she really seemed to have no idea what was going on. Oh man, I'm so bummed about Tyler. Wednesday, seriously, this is nuts. On outreach day, I told you I was visiting the old meeting house. Is it not him? Should we not trust her visions? What's going on? I'm out of here. Actually, you're coming with us. Oh, she's using her power. She's using her power. That's the first time we've seen her use it. Oh my God. Man, I don't know what to believe anymore. Like he seems so earnestly confused. Does he just not know that he's a hide? Do you recognize her? Perhaps if I hadn't been so distracted by my own mother hogging this photo, I would have noticed yours sooner. Oh. Your father fell in love and married an outcast. Whoa. That's great because we never talked about her because Sheriff couldn't talk about her, you know? Oh, this is great. Okay. Wednesday, what are you doing? Just some light torture. Don't worry, I won't leave a mark. Oh, now they're all starting to question what they're doing. There's only one thing that a hide understands. Pain? Pain. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's it, I'm out. Don't leave, please. Oh, you're all gonna leave. Guys, somebody stay. It's just a taser, he's gonna be fine. I don't understand, why are you doing this? Does he really not know? He's totally the hide. Here, get away from my oh, son. Oh. Drop it. Oh, Wednesday. Oh no, you're in trouble. How come she's not in a cell? Wouldn't she be in a cell? Sheriff Galpin isn't pressing kidnapping charges. He's not. That is a miracle, cause he knows. Wait, Wednesday, wait. Oh, now he wants to talk to her? What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. Oh, here it comes, the, fa the facade is falling, the mask. Man, he's a good little actor. You have no idea what's coming. What's coming? Uh-oh, the whole plan with fire will rain and body parts and stuff. Oh, that really, really freaked her out. Yeah, that was like, that's like the best acting we've seen from him all season. They didn't have the guts to do what needed to be done. You mean kidnapping and torture? I should hope not. <laughs> they didn't have the guts to be a torturer. You'll be on the afternoon train tomorrow. If I was Wednesday, I'd just be like, damn, that sucks, but y'all are gonna be the ones that are suffering. I get to get out of here. Fire's gonna rain down on all of you. Enid, the mark you have left on me is indelible. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow, I hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed. <laughs> I'll think of you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I, guess, I guess, thanks. That's as nice as you're gonna get from her. Save your sprite. This prophecy cannot come true if I'm not here, but it kills me to leave when Tyler is still walking around free. I, I feel bad for Xavier just falsely imprisoned. You've got this Wednesday, I promise. Just be careful, cause he's about, I feel like he's about to raise Mr. Pilgrim Man from the dead or something, cause fire will rain when he rises. So we're gonna. You can do it Wednesday, come on. Not hugging is kind of our thing. It would've been cute if they hugged though. Maybe they'll hug in later seasons. Eugene! He's awake! Ah! So happy. Someone set fire to that cave just for a moment. I thought that they weren't black. They were red. Red. They came from the dance. Wait, red. Was it her? No way. She's the, the master of the hide. It's her, the normie. Wednesday. How did she get back here? How did she get back here? Weems took her back here? Tyler told me everything. No way. No, no, no. Weems is Tyler right now, for sure. Weems is Tyler. Ugh, that's enough. <laughs> Tyler, honey, make mama happy and shut her up. Permanently. Maybe this is really Tyler. I don't know how Wednesday got back here. I sent Tyler to intercept you. What? I never made it to the station. Heard enough? That's Weems. Yeah, I knew it. We had to have Weems have a fantastic shape-shifting moment. I knew it. Please don't make this more difficult than it already is, Marilyn. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. Uh -oh, no. Did she just poison her? Weems. No. Did she just die? A fitting end, don't you think? Oh, no! Wow, I'm surprised she didn't just stab her, too. Oh, Thing is watching. Okay, Thing, Thing, go help. Go get help. Is that her ringtone? The flight of the bumblebees? <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, her outfit is so cute! Oh, Thing is freaking out. Slow down. What happened? She's gotten really good at reading the Thing sign language. Who are the nightshades? He's a nightshade. I'll, I'll explain on the way. Yep, 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 yep. Chop, chop. Time to go. Oh my god, she doesn't even know about the nightshades. Eugene, thank you so much for the vital information. You need to relax now. If Enid's right and Wednesday's being taken, we need to call the sheriff. Mm -mm. You literally can't call the sheriff. It's the worst thing you could do right now because he's just going to protect Tyler. Oh boy, here we go. Man, I'm so happy that Christina Ritchie was actually Laurel because the therapist thing threw me off. But then when she was killed, I was like, oh, okay, it's not her. I really don't think it's her. And I forgot that there still needed to be someone to like manipulate Tyler. So I kind of like forgot about her for a second that I was suspicious of Miss Thornhill. And this is just fun for Christina Ritchie. Like it makes sense. Joseph Crackstone was a visionary. Oh my God. Protecting normies from outcasts until his life was cut short by your ancestor, Goody Adams. R you're really that mad about about it still, honey? It's been hundreds of years. I guess because like your brother was killed and you're the only one left in your family. I guess that would make you mad. But the Joseph Crackstone thing, like get over it. My family has remained committed. And that's weird. To Crackstone's mission? Yeah, that's weird. Get over it. Come Luna Rubra, Tinkseret, Miakwen. Oh no. Come on, girl. Yeah, hurry up. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna file your way out? I was just gonna say, try to choke her with the chain. Oh no, it's gonna work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is such a shame. How do you kill something that's been risen from the dead? Why does his face look so good for being like de decaying for years? My vengeance will be swift and true. He's like so ready to go. You will suffer the same fate, you bequeath. Oh my god, oh no. <laughs> he just stabbed her! Well, she's not gonna die. What the heck? But he like got her in the middle of the torso. Oh, good, he's here. You're here to take me to the other side. Listen, <laughs> Crackstone must be stabbed through his black heart. Oh, thank you for answering that question. I was wondering how you kill him. Your necklace. What? It will allow me to pass through you and heal you. Really? Just know once I do, you will never see me again. Oh, this is the last we're gonna see Goody. All right, that's fine. Well, this is the most helpful Goody has been <laughs> thus far. Cause I was like, this this looks like a fatal wound right here. <laughs> How is she gonna get out of this? Oh, thing. Oh, is she transforming? Oh my God, it's happening so suddenly. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She's wolfing out. Oh, she's wolfing out. It's a little inconvenient timing. Oh no, he's here. This will not end well for you. Uh oh, here he goes. I'm sorry, but the hides look whack. I don't like the way they look still. Not a fan of it. <laughs> Why didn't she run away at all? Like, Goody can't heal you again, girl. You have no, there we go. Thank you, Enid. Thank you, Enid. Hell yeah. She's got the, the, the she still has the hair. Enid, turn around. Oh no, oh no. Okay, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Oh God, I hope she's okay. I hope she'll be okay. I will expunge you abominations from this earth. Oh no. He really just has so much hatred in his heart, man. Like you really don't have to be like this. Yep. Oh no. Oh no, 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 Enid. Oh, he's shooting his son. Good, good. I know that's gotta be hard for you, dude, but your son is awful. Ooh, good kick, girl. Oh, oh, he transformed back. Oh my God, oh, he's dead. Oh, God damn, oh, damn, he's dead. Okay, goodbye, Tyler. Enid, oh, she's transforming back. Are you only wolf out temporarily, not the whole night? Oh, that was, a, that was, that was nice. He goes to hold her hand. She's gonna be okay. There's no way we'll kill her like that. 
Yeah, we gotta have the face-off moment in the quad with the burning tree. Howdy, Pilgrim. Yep. What demon sorcery is this? Stay away from her! Xavier! Oh, be careful, Xavier. He's gonna turn it around and aim it at you. Xavier. <laughs> Why'd she do it again? Goody can't heal you again, honey! She tried to protect him. Oh, ow. Oh, she a tough cookie. He can stop her though. With the like, he stopped her with like that telekinetic. Did she just do a backflip? Okay, honey. I guess she's good with the sword. She can fence. But I thought he was able to stop her. Uh oh. I thought he was able to stop her like just with telekinetic force ability. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like that. I will send you back to hell. The only one going to hell is you, sir. Who did that? Oh, you stabbed through this. It was a good, you were so close, Bianca. That's not quite his heart. Oh my God, you so close, girl, so close. Yes! That's also not, isn't, maybe that's his heart. I don't know, I feel like you should aim a little more left. I feel like we keep hitting the center of his chest. Okay, no, that counted, okay, good. Oh my God, I'm like worried about the aim here. Oh my God, it's like another Indiana Jones, like kind of moment here with him disintegrating into embers. Wow, where is Thornhill, by the way? Beyond, look, they had to work together. This is great. This is great, they had to work together, it's so cute. Oh no, is it Thornhill? It's gotta be her, right? Oh, she got a gun. Wow, how original. <laughs> what? Eugene! <laughs> He's sicking his bees on her! That is so cute! Would they listen to him? Wait, that's kind of funny because isn't Christina Ritchie in a series called Yellow Jackets? <laughs> that's great! What a slow and painful death. I love it. Yeah, that's what you get from messing with Nevermore. Well, so he's not just a hummer. Like, he's not just a fan, but he can actually control the bees. Maybe we should call the sheriff. Turn around, Eugene. Turn around, Eugene. Yeah! <laughs> oh, she's like, I'm hugging you, I don't care if you like it or not. Oh, good, they did get to have their hug moment. Oh my God. Oh, it's so much better this time with the music. Oh, that was the butler. <laughs> is it summertime now? <gasps> that collar is fantastic. The end, she finished her book. Question mark. <laughs> That's a great way of ending the first season to be like, hopefully we get greenlit for a second <laughs> at the end, question mark. Oh, who's gonna be in charge of the school now? I feel bad for Weems, you know? She wasn't actually a bad person. She was just trying to protect the school and Wednesday was a thorn in her side, but she was like, she didn't deserve to die. So you have to come visit me in San Francisco. I can pretty much guarantee fog and drizzle every day. <laughs> it's a selling point for her. I owe you the thank you. Yes, you do. We're getting that Benson title next year. So don't let killing one supernatural pilgrim get to your head. Oh yeah, it, it, that fight had even more meaning, not just because she was a fencer, but because they faced off together. I forgot about that. And he's good with a bow and arrow, you know? It all did come back around. Aww. Can we not be nice to Xavier, man? Like, oh, she came up to say hi to him, maybe. Okay. I was like, can we just be nice to him? Like, you got him in prison and he's still waving at you. Like, can we maybe be nice? Being your friend should come with a warning label. Yeah, it really should. Don't know a lot of people who would take an arrow for me. So. True. Oh, you know, she did take an arrow for him. So I guess, I guess she doesn't need to apologize because she took an arrow for him. So it's just kind of all forgiven. An iPhone? <laughs> That's a really generous gift, dude. I guess he's rich though. He did say that. You know what a text is, right? Goodbye, Xavier. Oh my God. <laughs> What, did you buy her a phone plan too? Hey, you gonna be back next semester? No answer. <laughs> I hope so. This was fun. Although I don't know how they're gonna top this season. Like I have to come up with some other crazy story. Unknown contact, they are, who? Not Xavier, who is it? They sent a gif. Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? Uh-oh. Oh no. I know the suspense is killing you. 
That was fun, man. This was a great show. Definitely a fun break from some of the more serious stuff that we've been watching lately here on my channel. House of the Dragon and Stranger Things definitely had more like really serious or dramatic moments or loss of people's lives in them that made it really intense and made me cry a lot. And this was just more of a really fun, lighthearted, suspenseful series with a fun, quirky style to it with the Tim Burton direction. And I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like the dialogue was so witty and quick. I loved the wardrobes. I would be shocked if this didn't win any awards for wardrobe specifically. I feel like, so it might be up for, okay. I couldn't remember when the Emmys happened, to be honest. I know the Oscar nominations like just came out at the time of me filming this. So my brain always gets confused on when the Emmys are, but it's because I never watched them. <laughs> But I would be shocked if this didn't win at least awards for wardrobe, maybe even music. I mean, the music was so fun, especially in the dance number too. Like I really loved the choreography of that number. There were just a lot of things stylistically about this show that make it so addictive, so easy to binge watch and such a fun ride. I really am excited to see what they do with the next season. I also really loved the cast, especially I loved the choices for the Adams Family. I think everyone did a really great job, especially Jenna Ortega. Obviously, I think she was just phenomenal, so captivating. She's obviously very talented and I'm really excited to get to see her play around in a series where she's the lead and really gets to do so much in a show, like Wednesday's a very versatile character, even though tonally she has a direction that she's kind of always moving in. She has glimmers of smiles and glimmers of playful moments. She gets to do a lot of action and gets to have moments and glimmers of vulnerability as a character with a big facade in front of it. So I think it leads to an interesting character growth potential for her. I think maybe we could see some more vulnerability. I mean, even at the end of this show, she finally hugs Enid, you know, because Enid saved her life and they had this crazy moment together. And there's this beautiful swelling music around them. And that's like the pinnacle to me of this entire show is her really letting her walls down and being vulnerable with her best friend. Um, and I think there's a lot of opportunities for her as a character. And I think Jenna Ortega does a fantastic job. She's so funny and captivating and fun to watch. But then even in the really like dark moments, like when she got really upset over what was happening with Thing, that was like one of the first times her walls really came down in this show. And it really made me emotional, even though, you know, I didn't think I was gonna cry over Thing getting hurt, but because of her acting in that moment, it really affected me because you could just feel her pain and desperation. And it was the first time we'd seen her really drop this tough, cold facade. Same thing with Eugene as well. It was a little more subtle there, but she really had a lot of guilt underneath her acting in a lot of those scenes as well. I just think it was fun. I think Christina Ritchie did a great job as well. The, the cast was just great. Script was great. Such a fun show. I really don't know where they're gonna take it in the next season. I feel like this one was pretty flushed out. So I would hope to see the same level of detail and web of mystery in the next season. But either way, I'm excited to see it when it is out. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this show with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this with you in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you'd like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.